All right, so in this video, I'm going to continue with what I showed in the cardiac bear reflex um, video, which was how to um, get from, let's see, this raw data um, from our LabVIEW program um, to uh, a point where we have our cardiac bear reflex uh, data all together in a single row um, for this person. All right, so this time though, I'm gonna be doing, again, the, the heart rate variability, and I'm gonna be doing this using uh, Kubio software. Um, it's pretty easy. So you should have the, the data input into um, this tab uh, before you start trying to do this, and um, you're gonna to have to uh, also have the Kubio software open. Um, uh, at least you will soon, and it takes a little while to open for me, so I'm just going to open it now. So, Kubios, um, and this is what it looks like. So, the little heart symbol with the EKG uh, tracing. So, I'm going to go ahead and let that start opening, and then let's um, let's follow these instructions a little bit. So, we're starting here where it says heart rate variability analysis instructions, and um, it's going to ask us to create a text file. Um, so we're gonna this these files here are or these files and this file are uh, we already talked about in the, the last video with cardiac bear reflex analysis um, those aren't needed so I'm just gonna leave them sit there but we don't uh, just ignore them for now um, so let's make another text file so new so right click right click go down to new go down to text file and we were using test as our participant number um, for the last video, so let's keep doing that. So test and then um, HRV Raj or something like that. Okay. So it's important that you know that you don't put spaces or underscores in this uh, file name because the Kubio software won't be able to analyze it. It won't be able to load it. Um, so we're going to open up this file, and again, it's just a blank file, and we need to input into this, so let's see, it's telling us, this, these are, again, the instructions, it's telling us to go to the RR um, interval systolic blood pressure tab, um, so here's the software, it finally opens, I'm going to minimize it for now. Um, so go to this tab here, and we're going to be pulling this data out of column A. So remember from the last video, column A is our um, RR interval data in milliseconds. And um, we need to find the bottom of this data. Um, and the best way to do that is to look at this cell that tells you the, the last cell with real data in it. And so A533, so let's put that here. So A. 533 in this uh, this box right here, and just hit enter. And again, the reason why we did that instead of just scrolling or hitting some other key to go to the bottom of data is because there's information in the cells below the bottom of the real data. That's just because it's set up to analyze longer uh, files than what we have here. So go to the last cell of real um, R to R interval data, hit control, shift, and then up. That'll highlight all of the data. Copy that and then control C. Come over to this text file. Control V will paste it in. And we can just save that and exit it. All right, so let's go back to the instructions tab. Um, we are, let's say, we just exited the text file. So we're down to that point. All right, so now it's telling us to open the Kubio software. We already have that open. Um, and then once you're in the software, you're going to click File and Open and navigate to this text file with our, all the RR interval data in it. All right, so here's the software again. Right now, there's nothing loaded. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to Open. Brings up a Windows dialog to find the, the data. Let's uh, look for it real quick. I have it in the Downloads folder. There is test HRV raw data, and it is a, a .txt text file, not a .asc text file. Um, and we're going to highlight it and just open it. 
and this automatically analyzes it for you. Um, there is some stuff that you can do once it analyzes it to change the values if you want to exclude data points or whatever. Um, I am not as familiar with how to do that with this program, um, but I know that you can do quite a bit with this program. Um, you would just have to sort of learn that on your own. There is a nice video on YouTube on how to use this, this Kubio software, um, so I suggest going to watch that if you want to do anything more in depth than just analyze an entire file. All right, so here's your data. So it's got um, uh, your raw data displayed here, and it's got some different information here. You can cycle through time frequency, um, the sorry, time domain, frequency domain, and then nonlinear, which I'm not as familiar with. Um, but we're just going to save all this data, and um, let's see how to do that here. Alright, so click Save Results, then click OK. So, where does it say Save Results? Let me make this big. I'm going to assume we can do it here. Yeah, so File, Save Results. Brings up a dialog box asking where to save it. So let's just put it in the same folder with everything else and hit Save. This might take a second. Um, so I think it saves several files. Um, we're not going to need all of them, but you can always save all of them just so you have it for later on. And I think yeah, now we can close out of Cubio. So that's all we need to do in Cubio. So close out of that. And here is the information that it just created. So these three files, and then this is the raw file. All right, so. <clears throat> Now what we're going to do is get the, the data out of this. So this one here, this PDF, let me just show you this real quick. Um, I believe this is sort of a, an output of everything. So it's going to show you all those graphs that we saw before. Um, this is nice to have just so you can see it, but um, we're not going to um, use this. We're going to use the text file here, I believe this one. So Find the text, yeah. So find the text file created by the program, not the PDF, and open it. So here's the text file. Here's all the data in just a PDF. It doesn't look like much in um, text file formats, um, but the program, this or this template, will put it into some sort of order for us that will make more sense um, to us uh, later on. We'll be able to analyze it better. So. Now we're going to hit Control A to highlight all this, Control C to copy it. All right, so get on to this. So here's, I'm clicked in here, doesn't matter where. Hit Control A, highlights it all, Control C, copies it all. Um, we are going to paste this in the, let's see, in the HRV text results tab. So HRV text results, where is that right here? HRV text results and just paste it in. Notice it all goes into a single column. Um, that isn't going to be very helpful to us. What we need to do is um, have it shift around so it looks more like, oops, more like the, the PDF document. Um, so to do that, um, I created a macro, which is why you need to have the macros enabled when you open this program at the very beginning, or open, sorry, to open this uh, Excel template. Um, so be sure the macros are turned on. Um, click the first cell and hit Control Q. So that is going to activate the macro, which is going to move the file or move the data around a little bit. So click the first cell. Hit Control Q on the keyboard, and it moves it all. Basically, just delineates it based on the spaces. I believe is what I did. Um, and now, the uh, template should be able to find all that data. So, write any notes in the yellow uh, 24-hour blood pressure control. So this is set up for a specific study. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to be used for the salt study database. It can be used for any study, though. All right, so at this point, yeah, so these are not going to be so, in, in, uh, so important for you if you're doing a different uh, study. 
Um, it's just it was just telling somebody how to put it into a specific database. Regardless, we're gonna go to this access tab. So we no longer need this text file. Let's exit out of that. And this access tab, where we've already typed in the participant number, which again we're using test because we don't have a real participant here. We can put in whatever comments we want. And this was all the bare reflex, the cardiac vagal bare reflex data, all in gray. Scroll to the end of that. And right where it goes from gray to white, now we're in the heart rate variability data. Um, and all the data for that is right here. So again, this gets everything into a single row, makes it real convenient, um, which would be a real pain to have to type this up or copy and paste it. Uh, and it goes out to column CN, so however many, you know, what is that, uh, probably over 100 uh, columns of data that we have here all organized into a single row. Obviously, you're not going to be using a lot of that, but it's nice to just have it. Um, so it puts it all into a single row for you, and then you can do what you want with it later on once you have all your participant data into a single Excel sheet or database. All right, so that's it. Um, just copy and paste that out to wherever you're saving all your participant data. And that's how to do the heart rate variability analysis using this template and the Kubios heart rate variability software.